Let's see. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite movies of all time. It's definitely in the top three favorite films for me. And that film is Cinema Paradiso by Giuseppe Tornatore. Giuseppe is an Italian filmmaker, so this is an Italian film. It's a foreign film. What can I say about it? The first, I, I, I first saw this movie in 2017, so not that long ago, about six years ago. And the first time I ever saw it, I immediately fell in love with it. It became one of my favorite films of all time on that first viewing. And <clears throat> let me tell you about my first viewing. I first saw it, you know, forgive me, but I first saw it on my phone. Um, I was in film school at the time, and I was lucky enough to work in a, um, a as a work study student. So I got a job in the rental house of the school, which we call the equipment room. And it was like the first week that I was there. You know, I had already cleaned. I've already cleaned lenses. I had already stacked. You know, uh, cameras. I, had, you know, whatever was asked of me that day. And there was some downtime, so. I ended up going through my phone and it's a movie that I had put in my Netflix Netflix queue just because of the name Cinema Paradiso Cinema so you know they, it caught my eye and I, like I said I was in film school at the time so um, I started watching it and you know I didn't know it was in Italian I didn't know anything about the movie I just knew the title and I saved it and I started watching it and it took me a, a couple sittings you know I didn't watch it all the way through in one sitting it took me two days so you know I'd watch it when I had some downtime watched it like during my lunch break or one of my breaks and um, it took me two days and it instantly became my one of my favorite movies ever uh, if you're a cinema lover if you love movies in any way you should definitely check this movie out I, I used to be on Netflix I don't think it's on Netflix anymore but if you if you really want to watch it, which I highly recommend, actually go and pay to rent it or to buy it. You can buy it on on Apple TV. Um, I'm sure you can rent it. Don't watch it on YouTube. Don't stream it, you know, uh, something free. Pay to watch it. It'll be worth it. Add it to your library. If you have a digital library, whether through Amazon or Apple TV or Voodoo, any of those platforms, pay the 10 bucks, pay the $4 to rent it, and you won't regret it. It's a film that you can watch with your kids. Um, there are some, you know, uh, nude scenes, but they're just clips. You know, you might have to put your hand over their eyes. And like I said, it, you won't regret it. If you have uh, parents that speak Spanish, like mine, you know, if they grew up uh, watching Cantinflas or Doña Maria, La, La India Maria, they'll love it. Even though it's in Italian, those of us that speak Spanish, there's a lot that we'll be able to pick up because of the similarities in language. <clears throat> and like a Chaplin film, this movie is extremely funny. Very, very funny. And a lot of that, that comedy is, is, is physical and you can, you can get it. You don't need to speak the language. Um, even if you were to watch the movie without reading the subtitles, you would get 80, 90% of it. It's that well made. It's such a great film and you'll not regret it. Um, yeah, like I said, it instantly became one of my favorite films of all time. Now, you will see me, because I do I do own this digitally. So this is on my, on my um, Apple account. It's one of the movies that I own. Uh, you'll see me tap the screen, you know, real quick just so that it stays up there. Um, I haven't figured out how to how to keep it up there more than five minutes, so. Yeah, I own it digitally. I, I own the script. I was able to get the script for free one day. Um, you know, like I said, I was in film school and then after graduating, I worked at the film school for about four years. Um, and, you know, they would give out free scripts. You know, the library had scripts for students to rent out. And one day they had a box of scripts for free. And I was rummaging through it. And I found Cinema Paradiso. It is in English, even though the film is in Italian. 
Um, <clears throat> but I, I grabbed the script. You know, I love the movie so much that I even bought it on VHS. Uh, I bought it on eBay and I own it on DVD. I don't own it on Blu-ray. Um, I haven't found it on Blu-ray yet. And I own it digitally. So um, I love this movie very, very, very much. Just to tell you a little bit about it without ruining anything is uh, it's a story about a young boy in a small town in Italy and he loves movies. He loves going to the theater, to the cinema. And he befriends the projectionist at the theater. And he learns, he becomes a projectionist uh, of this small town. But it's, it's about the friendship he creates with that projectionist. I'm not really going to say any, anything else. You know, um, he does grow up. And the story really is about him having to come home, having to return. Um, and it's, it just shows you where, where his life started as a young boy, an enthusiastic boy about, you know, he was enthusiastic about, about movies and film. And it was during, it was dur during wartime. So films were, were an escape for him. And, uh, like I said, I'm not going to say, say anything. I'm not going to say much more about it. Um, I'm not giving you much to go off, but trust me when I say like, Look at everything I have uh, on this one movie, and I love this movie. Um, if you see behind me, there is a poster. Um, again, not going to give it away. Um, <clears throat> very, very uh, important detail. When you watch the movie, you'll get it. Um, I will show a clip of, of the poster. If you haven't seen it, it won't mean anything, but um, that's how much I love this movie. It, it sits on my wall every day, and... Um, it was actually a gift. So one of the reasons that I am doing a review on Cinema Paradiso, uh, aside from it being my favorite film, is <clears throat> January 1st of this year, 2023, so a New Year's, uh, my girlfriend, who you will hear me mention a lot on, on my channel, uh, Annie, my fiance, she, she got me tickets, she got us tickets to go watch the director's cut at the New Beth Theater here in LA which is owned by Quinn Tarantino. So <clears throat> we just call it Tarantino's, you know, we call it New Bev. We go there all the time, but they show the director's cut and she knows it's my favorite film. And, you know, just to start off uh, the new year, um, she gifted, she gifted me that. And <clears throat> like I said, I own the DVD. So the DVD has a director's cut. I've seen it. Um, we've had our debates on which one's better, the theatrical or the director's cut and for me for years I like the director's cut just because it's she likes it theatrical it's just a way for her and I to just have a discussion about it but to be honest if I were to ever recommend this movie to anybody that's never seen it I would always tell them to watch the theatrical version <clears throat> it cuts better it's it it just it cuts perfectly the director's cut um it's a lot longer and honestly, it's not necessary. It doesn't really add to the story. The theatrical version is so much better. So I highly recommend, you know, if you buy it, you'll get the theatrical version. You won't get the director's cut. But, you know, Amy knows how much I love this movie. When I first saw it, I, I made her watch it. You know, at the time we were, we were dating, but we were long distance. So, you know, I watched it on my laptop. She watched it at home on her TV and we were on the phone. And you know, I had um I had my headphones connected to the computer and I had one earbud and then I had uh, my cord connected to my phone and then I had the other earbud and we watched it together. <clears throat> and when she came over to visit, we we watched it again. I remember her and I within a few months. Whoops. Should have been better on that. Uh within a few months I think we watched it like three times together. So she loves it as well. And, you know, she is one of my biggest supporters in what I do. Like I said, this movie appeals to filmmakers. It's about a young boy that loves films and becomes a filmmaker. But you see his journey as a kid and this friendship he created with the projectionist of, of you know, the small theater in his town. And... <clears throat> just like 
the projectionist, or, you know, his name is Alfredo, just like Alfredo is Toto's champion, you know, and he's like my champion. She's always supportive, and she's the one that got me that. You know, she knows how much it meant to me, and that, that poster, you know, at the end of the film, you'll understand what that means, and you'll cry. Trust me, everybody that watches this film will cry. I've, I've had friends over that have never seen it, and I made them watch it, you know, film filmmakers just like myself, you know, and we're all sitting there crying. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a gorgeous film. It's something you can watch with your kids, with your family. Everybody will get it and understand. This movie, is, it's relatable. If you're a film lover, if you're a filmmaker, this movie is for you. It's for me, it instantly became one of my favorite films. I have, I have my top three. And it, it instantly, just the first time I saw it, just boom, went right up there. Slot number three. It is one of my favorite films of all time. As you can see, um, I'm kind of, not obsessed, but I'm a huge fan of this film. I love this film. Um, I highly recommend you to go watch it. Now, also, if you know me, if you live in my area, if we're friends, and you wanna watch this, let me know, come over. You know, I, I'll always want to watch it. Um, and those of you that haven't seen it, please comment. Please let me know. If you plan on watching it, let me know. Let me know what you think once you watch it. Um, if you didn't think it was great or you didn't get it or, you know, it's not for you, give me your thoughts in the comments, please. I'm starting to, I want to build this channel. This is something that I'm very passionate about. Um, you know, I'm still getting used to speaking in front of the camera, you know, technical difficulties, but I'm kind of leaving that in raw right now. I'm not really editing this. I'm just kind of just word vomiting this out. Um, this is just off the top of my head. This is how I feel. This is, um, this is just me right now. I will figure this out, but please write me uh, in the comments. Let me know what you think. And um, like I was saying, you know, this was a gift for Manny my fiance, whom I love very much, and I know she loves me, that, you know, this, it means a lot. When you watch the movie, it'll make sense. Um, another little quick thing that I wanted to, to mention, not to uh, tell too much about the story, is uh, that Toto, that's the main character's name, the little kid in the movie, his name is, uh, his name is Toto. Um, this kid right here. I actually, when I was in film school, um, I didn't have money to buy the posters, so what I did was I went to like printposters.com and I printed out the uh, the poster, and actually this poster, and you know I cut it out and I went to the dollar store and bought a like piece of cardboard and, and I glued it on there and it, it lived on my wall in my first apartment out here um, forever for years. I mean I taped it. I mean the back of it, I, I it kept falling. It ripped. But uh, I, I didn't get rid of it. I had it for about three years until Andy got me that one. But um, one in the movie, the kid is so innocent and he loves movies so much. Like I said, he, he, he becomes friends with a projectionist. But since he's always in the theater, you know, he, he took a little, a little piece of film, you know, a film clip. And he has this canister, this film canister, just like this one where I have my film. Um, he opens it up when he goes home at night and he takes out all these little clips of film just like this and he looks through them and you know he makes he makes gun sounds and, and, and he has dialogue and you know you can just see how much he loves movies and he's such an imaginative kid um, this film strip again another gift for Manny uh, this is from Tarantino the new Bev uh, when he put out his book um, they're selling this for like two bucks. Again, it, you know, it's it's not that it's expensive. It's just the thought that, you know, Annie loves buying me little things like this. So, oh, again, technical difficulties. But, um, yeah, again, I highly recommend watching this movie. Watch it with your family, your parents. Watch it with your kids. Watch it by yourself. If, again, if you know me, reach out. Come watch it. Um, you guys are always welcome in my house. Those of you that know me, you know who you are. Um, I want to, uh, you know, let me know what you think. And I want to review it again. Um, those of you that watch it, that start following the channel, 
you know, once you guys uh, uh, um, comment and let me know what you think, I want to remake another video reviewing the actual movie. Um, I don't want to say too much. Um, and maybe even further in the future, maybe on a live broadcast, watch it and then just talk through the film. You know, what I think is important, what I like, what I get, things that I don't. There's a few, there's two moments in the film where I'm like, I'm not so sure of what's going on or, or how to interpret it. But I'd like to hear what you guys think. And I, um, I want to share with you guys the movies that I love. I grew up watching movies. I love movies. Grew up going to the movie theater all the time, just like, just like Toto did. It was an escape for me. I come from a very small town in, uh, in Northern California and there wasn't a whole lot to do. So I would go to the movies all the time by myself. I would, I would always go to the movies by myself. If I could, if I was lucky enough to have a friend that wanted to go or could go that day, and we would go if we can get a ride, if we had enough money for a matinee, but if I didn't, I'd go by myself. And it's, uh, it's something that I still love doing today. I love going to the movies. Um, and you know, when I came to LA, when I went to film school, I was exposed to, to like foreign films, which I wasn't as a kid. And this is one of the first ones that I was exposed to. You know, it's an Italian film. It's in Italian. You're gonna have to read subtitles. Again, those of you that speak Spanish, you're gonna be able to pick up on a lot. Um, but even if you don't, man, it's worth it. It's worth it. Even if you turn off the subtitles and just watch it, you'll understand most of it. It's a very, very, very well-made film. And I also love it because it, it was made the, the same year I was born, 1988. So that's another cool thing that, that about this movie that I love. Um, I didn't grow up with it, you know? So like this VHS was not something that I had growing up and I would watch. I, I went out and I, I got this after, after falling in love with this movie. Like I wanted to own the VHS, even though I had the DVD and I own it digitally. I mean, I, I just love this film and I was lucky enough to find the script. Um, so yeah, guys, go out and watch Cinema Paradiso and let me know what you think.